How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with the WT50 Smart Mini Projector. This little projector, and I've covered projectors on this channel before in the past. I think they're kind of cool. I kind of like them. Uh, things that are going on, you don't really have the drive-in movie theater experience right now. You know, movie theater experience is a little bit more limited, not as great. So, you know, people are using projectors, and a lot of people have been getting projectors recently to have their own at-home movie experience. You know, whether they can just blast it up on their wall like we do here, um, or if you have like a backyard with a fence, you can do that too. A lot of reasons to have a projector. This is the smallest projector that I've reviewed on this channel. This is the AKA-50. That's what it says here, the WT-50, the Smart Mini Projector. We're going to do a little unboxing and, uh, and we'll check it out too. I think there's a lot of features on this one that you'll be surprised about. So we'll check it out. And if you're new to the channel, I thank you for watching and thank you for your subscription. I do at least two videos a week. I'm a huge old school gamer, but also love reviewing products like this um, just to see what's all out there. So make sure you're subscribed. So we have the WT-50 Smart Mini Projector, and here's all what it includes. I just took the little wrapper off at the front, a little cellophane shrink wrappage. And I'm telling you, this projector, this is, is this it? It's about the size of a, about the size of a, a, a large cell phone here. Look at that. Well, this is at least the, um, so at least where you plug in everything here. Hold on, there's, there's more to it than this. I just set these aside here, but we have nice cardstock, user manual. We'll look at that here in a moment. Got your power supply, comes with a power cord, cool. Nice tripod. Yeah, some, some projectors don't even come with a tripod. They come with a little thing that you can kind of prop up, but not not like this. So this is this is very neat. I'm glad they included this. And then this looks like your uh, your basic HDMI. It's kind of the standard for things like this. Remote controls for this, like a Roku, whatever. But the, the selling point here, the highlight, it look how portable this is. Looks like it has touch screen on top. I'm looking forward to checking this out here. There's your power, and again, here's your HDMI, which is upside down, which is fine. Headphone jack, your power, a couple of USB ports. Wow. Well, yeah, like I said, it's about the size. I mean, it's, a, it's the size of a thick cell phone. That's crazy. I, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to checking this out here. If this something like this can do pretty well, and again, it looks like it has just like a touch sensor on top. Wow, fun. All right, we're going to check this out. And with a simple switch of the cover, the case, there you go. There you have it. Now, you see a little bit of flickering. That's only through this uh, phone that I'm recording on. Um, I am not getting any flickering on the, uh, you know, on the wall itself of what I see. So if you see a little bit of, a little bit of flickering, that's fine. And this is, um, let me show you, um, like here, here's my hand by comparison. Um, it does go bigger than this. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking for a wall, but I have an idea that I want to show you here. Um, very cool. The touch screen is literally just, you put your finger on it and you can see your mouse there. So you can go to Netflix, YouTube. You can even use your phone so you can like, you know, cast through your phone so you can watch it uh, through this thing. And also important to point out, I don't have this plugged into a power source. This projector um, has a battery backup in it like you know, so you, you can charge it and as you can see where the battery is the battery is doing pretty well Has Wi-Fi and all that too, but for me, I'm going to use it for games. That's what I do That's what this channel is about. So I'm gonna click over that click on that. I already have my GameCube turned on And here you go I'm gonna leave this going because oh there he is. Okay, see so then here's your uh, here's your ribbit king and the volume you hear, the sound you hear, is coming from the projector itself. It sounds pretty clear. It's not it's not 100%, but it sounds really clear, especially for projectors. Again, something like this. You know, I could bring this to a convention and say, like, oh, yeah, over here is when this thing happens. And they'll watch out for these flies over here. Get, get the golden one for sure. What fun is that? All right. We're going to... Um, of course, I'm talking... I will, I will never stop talking about Ribbit King. I love this game. Um, I have an idea. And we're going to do this idea right now, I think. Now, just for fun, this is actually literally the uh, the door I look at when I'm sitting on the toilet. Thank you, Jaren. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Jaren. Um, if I angle it up a little bit, it'll readjust. So, like, there's, you know, that's about standard. Angle it up a little bit. It just does that automatically. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. That's not actually what I came in here for. Okay. And, again, it's all just kind of touchscreen. So, when you move that around, it shows up right there. Not crazy. Never quite realize how dirty my wall is until I'm filming it, you know. <laughs> but oh, hey, we got a full screen calculator. That's perfect for math. That's perfect for me. You teaching? You teaching math this year? There you go. Got they got the app store as well. You want to download some new apps in the in the in the Play Store? 
Um, I don't know if you can take photos using this thing, but I mean, there's things you can do. That's true. You can check Facebook. You can check your files. You can also plug in a USB. You can plug in a, um, well, yeah, I guess you could plug in your, um, like an SD card full of stuff. So a lot of things happening with this. All right. So we're laying down in the bean bag in the middle of, yeah, her bean bag in the middle of the living room floor. I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see what we're looking at. So got a little, this is a dream of mine from when I was a kid. Just play video games on the ceiling, so you're just laying down, kicking back. Now I have the popcorn ceiling, so that's not great. You know, if, but if you had like a flat, like a, you know, that's like a flat ceiling, and it feels it's also a little bright in here because it's you know just afternoon here as I'm recording this. But as you can see, yeah, it's not bad. Looking forward to playing more of this later on tonight. <laughs> I am extremely impressed with this little guy. I had like no expectations. I've, like I said, I've done projector videos on this channel before and I've looked at some of them. But this one here with the little flip switch to keep the case all protected, it has a battery backup so you can take it anywhere you need. It's about the size of a phone and, um, and it has like the touchscreen uh, panels here. The only gripe I had was I couldn't adjust the volume in HDMI mode. Like when I was like going through with the HDMI to play my uh, GameCube, I couldn't adjust the volume that way. Um, but I mean, other than that, um, I, th I think it's a winner, man. I love it. What about you, Lily? I love it. What was your favorite part? That we could watch YouTube on the ceiling. <laughs> that way you can just like lay down in the beanbag the entire time and watch yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said the magic word, apparently. There was the, the, we, have, we have a faulty light in our kitchen. So thank you to this company for sending me one of these for the purpose of this video. I do have a link in the description below if you're interested in grabbing your own. Um, I might be bringing this to conventions just to show stuff on the back panel wall because I mean, it, it, gets, it gets pretty large and pretty clear for what this little guy can do. So I'm impressed and I thank you for watching. Always new videos coming up and we'll see you soon. Mwah.